Okay. Alright. I'm a gay male. Uh, I'm transgendered. And I'm gay. I typically say that I'm bisexual. Um, occasionally I say pan. I identify as a lesbian. I am an ally. I am a gay male. Somewhere in the bisexual area. I'm gay. <laughs> People tell me I don't look gay. Like that's the first thing I hear usually. Are they going to like me enough? In my high school, I faced a lot of um, racism, and my friends who were um, part of the LGBT community, they got negative comments as well, and I realized that there were a lot of similarities. To every coming out story, there's always ups and downs, people who accept you, people who don't. I knew I was gay when I was seven, but the first person I came out to was middle school. Seventh grade. My sophomore year of high school. I called my mom and basically when she came home I told her that I'd kissed a girl and liked it. <laughs> I tried for a crush on a girl, um, but in all of my dreams and all of my thoughts and daydreams, I always ended up making out with a guy, you know, in the movies or I always ended up with a guy on a date. I've kind of gotten to the point where I don't really care, you know, what's between your legs. I like you as a person for your personality, your intelligence, like little things like that. I was kind of a typical coming out where I was bullied. And then mostly afterwards, after I came out, is when all the bullying stopped. Freshman year of high school, I came out to my best friend before the first game of the season. And um, I was scared, gosh, I was scared, because I had been playing the straight card for like four years up to that point. I don't know, it was, it was such a dark time <laughs> that I kind of forget and block it out a little bit. Took too many diet pills one day um, and was crying because I obviously did incredible harm to myself at that moment. Um, and I called home I mean, called my parents who were away that weekend um, and told them I was gay. And they were extremely accepting. My mom was excited. <laughs> um, at first, the response at school was negative, but I really found a way to make a pretty positive turn on it. And by my senior year, like I was on King's Court for three years, and I just a lot of people, I think I changed a lot of people's minds about what it means to be a gay person. It, it doesn't change a person's personality, it just, it's who they are, you know? There's a saying that says, as long, uh, the amount of years it takes you to realize that you are, it takes that much longer for your parents to accept it. Give yourself more acceptance than I was able to give myself. And in regards to your parents, if, they're, if they are very good parents, then they'll love you regardless. And so you just gotta count on the fact that they raised you, they love you, and you shouldn't have to worry about it. I'm not out to my family yet, so it's like, when I go home and tell them, hey, I'm transgender, they're not gonna get it. I guess I've just been trying to put it off because I don't really know how to broach the subject. It's like, how do you, every time before this, I've come out really casually, like just in conversation, I've dropped it. and. Um, I, I feel like I can't do that with my parents, so it's it's harder than all the other times I've done it. All the moms are like, I wanted you to get married, like, I'm not going to be a grandmother now, and like, all this stuff, and that's not true, like, I want four children, all girls, and I've already named them, and I can't wait to get married, I'm so excited to get married. It's going to suck, it's going to be really hard, and like, it's going to be, but it's like, a week later, it's going to be the best time of your life, and like, you're going to be so happy and you won't have to like lie all the time and your friends won't care. The hardest part was waiting for the reaction. 
just sitting there thinking about what are they going to say, what do they think, what are they thinking, because you can't see inside someone's brain. It's really difficult. The best part about coming out is that you are freeing yourself. I could say that, oh, that girl's really cute and not feel weird about it or be like, or have to hide it behind like, oh, I really like her dress or something like that. The best part? Getting to explore uncharted territory. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of uncharted territory. I, I didn't want that to be my entire identity because like if you ask me who I am, the first answer you'll get is um, writer. And bisexual is way down on that list. There's nothing wrong with being who you are. And I think a lot of people need to learn that. That's what I'm learning.